Welcome back to another episode of Fabulex Makeup, everybody. So finally, spring is here. The sun has been shining just a little bit more. Not constantly, because Oregon's kind of a teaser about weather. Like, sometimes it'll give you, like, a little bit of sun for a little bit, and then it'll be like, okay, that's enough, and then it'll be rainy for the next two days. Kind of the reason most people are cranky, because we can't figure out whether we shouldn't be or not. So today's collab is actually with a Fab Bam member, Miss Tamika Tenacious. She is on Instagram and YouTube. Go follow her on both. I'll link both of her. Myth. I'll link both of her social handles in the description box below. So like I said, it's springtime. I'm all about bright colors and spring is usually kind of neon, really bright, really bold colors because, you know, we've been in the grays and the darks for so long. It's time to be expressive and bright, but today I'm actually going to go dark and vampy. And I think it'll work today because it's cloudy and rainy today, like I said, Oregon can be. So I think it's pretty accurate. So for our collab, we did a spring themed tutorial. So what Tamika did was she did a light cut crease type of tutorial where it's very like natural very light type of thing going on and what i'm doing is kind of the opposite a very dark and dramatic but very spring-esque type of dealio at least that's what i'm hoping for I, I don't really know i have this image in my head of what i'm gonna do but i haven't actually practiced it but oh, y'all know this is how we do it on my channel speaking of my channel if you're new to my channel welcome welcome i'm Fabi Likes makeup like i said and speaking of my channel if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button below if you're returning Fabi Likes lovely you're beautiful welcome back it's good to see y'all i know it's been kind of a hectic couple three months with the last term and everything and school and life and work and all that jazz but we're trying to get it in order we're getting there we're getting there so we're just gonna start right into this tutorial keep watching to find out how i did it whatever i'm gonna do and yeah. So I'm starting off by using the NYX Above and Beyond Concealer, applying that all over the lid and blending out with a deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques. I'm gonna make sure that's blended and even as possible before applying any powders or eyeshadow. Makes it less clumpy and blends a lot easier. So I wanted to keep this look really red, but I also knew that I wanted to keep it blended as well and blending with just red wasn't going to work with me and I knew that. So right now I'm using a transition shade which is a really light pink from the 35B Bright Palette from Morphe. And then I go on top with a really bright vibrant red and apply that on the lid all the way up to the crease area and kind of on top of that light pink. And then I'll blend it out again later with a mix of the hot pink and the red with that fluffy brush. And this fluffy brush is from IT Cosmetics. And then I switched to a fluffy M504 brush from Morphe. That was nice and clean. To snatch a little depth, I'm grabbing a black eyeshadow. And this is an IT Cosmetics kind of dense crease brush. I'm not exactly sure what to call this because the label on it is gone. But I applied this crease in a C shape, kind of like a half moon around the eyes. This is going to create some depth and I will blend it out again with the Real Techniques mixture of the hot pink and red. A little bit more of the red so it kept it nice and more on the red side than pink side. And then just blended and blended and blended until it was nice and as soft and transitioned as I wanted it to be. And as you can tell I really really went to blending and blending because I didn't want the black to be too prominent. I didn't want it to distract from the red. I wanted to have more of a red hue, but still be blended if that makes any sense. For my eyelid, I took Slow Burn from the Electric Palette from Urban Decay and an Urban Decay flat brush. This is like an eyeshadow flat brush. And this shade actually has a little bit of orange undertones in it, but enough red that it brought out the reds from the crease area. So it kind of brought everything together without making it look too sunsetty. It kind of looked like a sunset a little bit, but I was trying to keep it more like fiery red Hunger Games type thing. This highlight is from Vintage Cosmetics. Apply that to the brow bone. I actually didn't apply any highlight to the inner corner. It's something I haven't been doing lately just to switch things up a little bit. Now this is the Kat Von D liner. Liquid liner felt tip in the shade Trooper. It's a matte black. And this was a lot of fun to play with. I have been wanting to get this liner forever. Finally got it. And I've been kind of practicing with it lately. I did clean up the edges with some concealer, and the mascara is from Mayo Beauty, Love and Beyond Mascara. Now somehow I had red eyeshadow on my fingers and didn't know it and kept rubbing my face and I was like, oh, that wasn't me taking it off, that was me putting more on. <sighs> Makeup wipes are savers, y'all. 
for a little special face treatment today. I'm using the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend. This is just a face oil. I use it as a moisturizer under my makeup and it doesn't disrupt it and it keeps my skin nice and smooth all day. This Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer is from NYX. I've been using it the last couple days and I've been liking, I'm liking the results. I haven't f formally formed an opinion on it, but I'll let y'all know. Now this foundation, this is a liquid foundation from BH Cosmetics, which is different from their HD foundation. This one is definitely uh, not something I really like for my skin texture. It just almost brought everything out more, and the HD foundation actually seems to hide it better. So I'm not sure I'm a fan of the liquid foundation, but I am a fan of their HD foundation. But I worked with it, it's all good. I use the lighter concealer for just under the eyes just to brighten it a little bit more and then the neutral highlight for everywhere else, highest points of the face. I'm setting it with my ride or die setting powder. Y'all know I love this Sacha setting powder since the beginning of my makeup journey. I did spring for a cream contour today from the Beach Cosmetics Cream Contour Palette and I used the darkest shade for the contoured areas of my face. And I don't know why I applied it on my nose with that brush because that was way too much and way too blotchy and then when I blended it out it got worse. However, taking some setting powder can clean up all your little, you know, contour errors that you may do or bronzing errors. So that's basically what I did. And y'all can see I was down with the cake with the powder today. I don't, I think that was just because of the foundation I was wearing. I was just like, I'm just not digging how this is looking right now. So maybe more powder will fix it. It didn't, but you know, whatever. While that sets the concealer, I applied the first shade, that light hot pink shade on the lash line, and then went on top with the first red from the 35B. Then for the waterline, I took some Tarte liner. This is a waterproof clay pot liner. The nice thing about this liner is that you don't have to sit it with an eyeshadow to keep it there. It will stay, even if your eyes water, which is nice because sometimes I have that problem and it'll probably get worse as summer goes on with all those grass seed allergies. Goodness, it was bad last year. But anyway, getting to bronze up the face and blend that contour out with the NYX bronzer in deep tan. Now for the lipsticks today, I outlined my lip with a ColourPop lipstick. I believe both of these are from ColourPop. This first one is a lipstick, or a lippy stick as they call it, in Bull Chic, just a matte black lipstick. It did not stay, y'all. I wouldn't suggest getting these lipsticks because this one did not stay at all. And then on top of it, I went with a metallic lipstick in the shade of Fury. This one is also from ColourPop. And it's actually, it, it says metallic, but it also says it's an ultra glossy lip. I would say it's more of a gloss than a metallic, but that's what the label says. Now I'm dipping back into the Vintage Cosmetics Highlight Palette and applying the lighter shade, I guess the more bronzy shade, to the highest points of my face. So the cheeks, forehead, nose, and chin. And set the face real quick, and that's a done deal, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join me for more adventures of Fabulous Makeup. And a special thank you to Tamika Tenacious. Y'all stay beautiful inside and out, and I'll be back later. Much love.